So today I'm changing the subframe bushings. Walk you step by step, basically how to do those. Okay, first remove the wheel, obviously. Okay, so this is uh, one of your bushings, and the second one is basically right there. All right, and both of them are held on by Torx. It's uh, T14, as far as I remember. So let's remove those. So here's what I'm using. Okay, this long ratchet. And also, I have supported this thing like that with a jack. Okay. So now, I'm just going to loosen that bolt. Already loosened it, so. Send this all the way, remove it. Okay. Let's do this thing. Almost out. Basically. Okay. I'm gonna lift this thing up a little bit. Now. Alright. And just remove that bolt. The part is basically stuck to the bolt. And there's like no clearance for me to remove it right now all right here give it a shot so i'm gonna have to jack it back up and remove the bolt from that bushing okay so i'm gonna use the same thing this ratchet I'm just gonna remove it okay so just remove this bolt right here so this is the bolt from that rear bushing right there that's removed and now I'm just going to lower this subframe on this side oh see just like so basically as you can see that part is also lowered right there It's free. Now we can start working on these bushings. Alright, let's see if we can remove the bolt. Uh, I can, cannot actually remove it for now. I might have to uh, separate this part right here, this, uh, this round piece from that bolt because it's really stuck on it. These are my new bushings. This is for the front part, and like, as you can see, it has new bolts and these two round things. This one and that one. And right now, in the old bolt, like these two pieces, this round piece and the bolt, they're just stuck together, so you have to remove them, you have to separate them, basically. Okay, and then also you have to note the uh, how this thing is sitting. Okay, because you're gonna have to press a new one in. So. This thing is going to have to sit like this, basically. So, as you can see right there, I was able to basically separate the bolt and that thing, the plate, okay? So that plate can be pushed up and then the bolt just comes out, okay? The bolt will basically drop like that okay okay i need two hands for this but here's the bolt it's out
All right. So I'm gonna explain right now. So as you can see over there, I put like a, you know, I have this set right here uh, for the ball jam mold. And I put it right there. And underneath here, okay, I put, uh, I'm using a jack and just a socket and extension. I'm trying to push that bushing out. As you can see, it's moving. So, uh, I'm gonna try showing you right now. So I'm lifting this thing. As you can see, basically bushing is out, so we can lower it. Okay, as you can see, it's almost out basically. So what we have to do, like I also have this air hammer right here. You can push it out all the way, okay. And uh, then we're gonna uh, see how everything is. We'll have to clean this thing up. So basically, my bushing is, this thing is out, okay. And I have to just remove the rest of it. Alright. So basically this is what I used. I put this thing on my jack. And now this thing is out. Okay. Old thing. Now I have to just get rid of this metal piece right here. As you can see, I'm just working with this thing. The best thing is probably just air hammer. I'm still trying to remove this metal piece from that old bushing using this air hammer. I mean, yeah, so just basically go like this and try to remove it. I don't know, let me show you. I'm just still trying to take this uh, metal piece out. Okay. That thing is really stuck, but now I think I got it moving a little bit. Okay, if I jam the screwdriver in there, it's moving actually, so I'll be able to remove it really soon. But I think the best way is, you know, air hammer. You know, I don't have the best air hammer for now, but this one works and it helps me out. Um, so. And then basically it's just, uh, you can also use a manual manual method, you know, the chisel and the hammer. But yeah, it's just really stuck in there, just spray, you know, the penchant in there. And yeah. And we're jammed in there. I don't know if I'll be able to see, but this thing is moving, it's giving up. It's almost gonna come out soon. So, I just have to keep fighting with it a little bit. And then it's gonna come out. Basically. So it's almost out. Okay, finally this thing is out. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to clean all of the surface as much as you can. Okay, so I cleaned it as much as I could. Now I'm gonna start putting anti-seize all the way around. Everywhere. Right there, all the way around basically. So I can press this thing in much easier. Or you can use something else if you want, another grease, whatever. Okay. Okay, so this thing goes like this basically. Okay. 
So I'm gonna put it just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna press this thing as much as I can by hand. Like so. Okay. And now basically I have this jack right here, but I have to lower it now and I have to put uh, like a socket on the top of the jack so I have more clearance not the clearance but I mean more space so let's put the socket there I have the socket right there now I'm just gonna lift it up and I have to be careful I have to watch so this the hole lines up with this thing okay so let's do that I'm gonna lift it slowly just want to make sure everything goes in okay All right. So I'm basically just pressing the thing in like this. Okay, so you have to be really careful. Okay, so I have those two sockets right there. I'm just lifting this whole thing, but you have to really be careful. This way you have to press them in. It's not actually easy. So that's what I basically have to do. I decided to not replace that bushing for now because it's still alright. Usually the one that goes bad is this one. So uh, I'm gonna also show you uh, the same thing on the other side. How to do this bushing and uh, we'll see you know. Uh, if these bushings go bad like the rear ones then I'll probably replace them. But now there's actually no sense because the one that was bad is this one. Okay, so let's start lifting this thing up. All right. Okay. And now basically let's take our new bolt like this. With this and let's just bolt them on and put the old bolt for the uh the rear bushing since we're not changing it that bolt is in and again let's tighten them down both okay so everything is bolted up as you can see everything is basically ready to go on this side and like I said, you know, usually the ones, the bushings that go bad are the ones in the front. So I'm not gonna change the rear ones for now. We'll see how it goes if they go bad and probably I'll change it. Alright, so now we're on this side. I'm gonna spray this thing in there. Okay. So that one is basically loose. Now I have to worry about this one right there. Okay. So basically, you have to remember if it goes come. It's coming out hard, then you know go back and forth. Okay. Don't just like spin this bolt out. As you can see, I have this supported. Okay, take this bolt out. Alright, this bolt is out. Now, I'm gonna lower the jack. Lower this jack. 
slowly. I have to pry this thing off. Okay, because it's stuck. Okay, that thing is lowered. Alright. On that side too. This side you have to do additional work. Grab 10 millimeter socket. As you can see this cover right here, the plastic one. You have to remove that. So basically you see those two plastic bolts. I mean nuts and there's one on the bottom there. So remove those. Actually just remove one nut. Looks like like this. And now pretty sure you'll have enough space you can just move it down like this and slide a jack under. So got that thing right there and I'm just pushing basically on this bushing. You have to be really like careful because the car is gonna, gonna lift the car basically. So you have to be really careful. That's why I have the tire behind it. I think the car is gonna fall on the tire, okay? I also have the jacks in here, but uh, I don't know how well it's gonna work, but... Okay. So, yeah, I used... Uh, Air hammer a little bit to just try shocking it and then put some penetrant in there. So you have to like really be patient with this thing. Okay. Okay, so I was pressing this thing and uh, this one actually came out like crazy. It was actually just popped out. Okay. So now I can lower the jack down. Okay, remove it completely from there, alright, now again we, we are left with this, that's what I used actually, to press on the bottom side right here of the bushing. Now I'm just left with this metal piece that I have to uh, work with, so again like I was showing you on that side, basically use the air hammer or if you don't have one just try use a screwdriver the screwdriver just you know or the chisel and the hammer and stuff and basically we'll be able to pry this thing off out of there okay it's kind of moving already so it's gonna be out soon just have to work with it a little bit all right okay so just little by little you can see the separation over there and you know just start moving it around and stuff you know and it's gonna eventually come out it's just you have to hammer this thing a little bit deform it it's gonna be easier and there's not enough space here but I'm still trying to go around like that and lift that thing up so trying to loosen that thing and it should come out pretty soon as you can.
put this thing on the new one as well. Okay. This all the way around. It's this thing. Now, this thing goes like right here, like so. Okay. Let me show you really quick. It's like centered, not crooked. Okay. Okay. I'm pressing this bushing in now. I'm using just the jack right there and two sockets right here. I'm just trying to press this thing in now. Careful. My new bushing. Okay. And now basically you have to just uh you know lift it up, put the bolts in, and you'll be done. You'll just have to put that uh, you know uh cover back on. So last part lift this thing and just put the bolts in this bolt with this like washer goes to this first one okay and then this other one with also this like metal washer goes to the second one the back one all right, as you can see, that thing is in. All the bolts are tight, and now you're just left with this, basically, cover right here. Just reattach that. Okay, everything is reattached, as you can see, and we can just put the wheel back on now. Alrighty.